Hello people of YouTube, uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm welcome back to just a little channel update. I probably always do these uh, channel updates on a Monday. Um, just to kind of fill you in what's been happening. Uh, first off, <coughs> oh, that's a cough. Um, quite a busy weekend. I uh, didn't really manage to get any live streams going. I've been thinking the last few even the last couple of weeks about my channel, just maybe diversifying, changing it a little bit, uh, trying to get like different games out, um, get back into like, streaming. Uh, I've not just, I think, obviously this weekend was really busy. Um, we had the US Open, we had the 24 Hours of Le Mans, I uh, also had the uh, Pokemon Go Community Day as well, which was a Saturday morning, so I've been really, really busy. Uh, watched the 24 hours at Le Mans. so I'll probably cover that first uh, quite enjoyed it watched the, the opening and watched the end uh, and then pretty much in between pick, picked up bits here and there I also watched the, the qualifying and practice uh, sessions like I think it was on Wednesday and Thursday I believe but yeah I, I quite enjoy uh, racing and well, I'm on 24 hours, just a fantastic race. Man and machine, really. Um, in terms of uh, the race winner was the Toyota, which I think it was, I need to get the, the, the actual driver's name. Alonso and Buemi were the two uh, kind of European drivers. There was a, a, there was a Japanese, um, what am I doing here, which was Nakajima. Uh, who's, who's the other driver? Was it Takuma? No, it wasn't Sata. Uh, Kobayashi, that's it. That was the number seven car, but number eight, Toyota 1. It was a Toyota 1 2. Um, pretty much not really any competition. Um, you know, they, they didn't have like the Porsche team or Audi there, so I mean, really, for t Toyota to win, they just had to really finish and get uh reliability and get the car across the line to, to win and I think that probably Alonso's team were, were always going to win because it's quite a big PR stunt for uh, Toyota I'm quite glad they won you know it was a good race uh, there was actually some good racing in the GT Pro Series or the is it GTE Pro Series um, there was some quite close racing in that but uh, I quite enjoyed Le on. it's a uh, it's one of the biggest races in the world, uh, and that's Alonso done the uh, Formula One World Champion and also uh, Le Mans winner. The only other one that he's got, which is this kind of triple crown thing, which is the Indy Five Hundred. So we may see Alonso maybe, I don't know, maybe drift from Formula One and go into the Indy Car Series to maybe concentrate on trying to capture that. Uh, but I enjoyed it; it was good. Uh, also, the U.S. Open. Uh, championship was on at uh, Shinnecock Hills. I kind of watched the, the final round on my my uh, big screen telly, uh, but I was catching up with the iPad on the first, second and third round, so I kind of saw enough coverage, but I didn't really see it wall to wall, because uh, I'm on and other stuff was on, so, but I did watch the final round. Uh, Mickelson's third round putt escapade was just... I actually watched it on YouTube. Uh, I knew there was something going on. I didn't actually see the incident when it happened. But uh, it was kind of bizarre. You know, he, he putted, then he ran after the ball and hit it while it was still in motion and then cut a, a two-shot penalty. He ended up taking a 10 at that hole. Um, bit of a weird one. Uh, I think the course was set up poor on Saturday. Uh, I think there's uh, so many pin positions where are not really in the in the right location. Um, played better on uh, Sunday, and quite quite a good final round from Tommy Fleetwood. Quite disappointed he didn't get that sixty two. Um, I think he had chances uh, on the last couple of holes to get it. Um, I think he had a bogey as well on I think it was the ninth hole, uh, but really played absolutely solid. Um, I don't think he would, he would have won it, 
but you don't know. If he'd posted that 62 and went to, I think, plus one, it might have been a little bit different. But uh, Brooks Kepka defends his title. Uh, quite a good player, uh, Brooks Kepka. Keeps his keeps his head. He's quite level headed. Doesn't really, you know, doesn't get over excited. Doesn't really, you know, he's he, he's one of those guys that just really plays solid. You know, he doesn't he doesn't miss a lot. Um, it's quite a good it's quite a good U.S. Open tournament. I don't think it was by any way, you know, the best. Uh, imagine just looking at the final uh, round. He finished one over par. Uh, I didn't. I, I watched it. I was working. I, this was meant to be my four days off. Uh, I call it my kind of long weekend because I, I finished Friday, and the cat's going nuts. Uh, and I'm off like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then back Wednesday. But he swapped my Wednesday shift for a Monday. Which meant that I was in at uh, quarter past five start on Monday morning, so I had to get up at quarter to five. I actually got up at ten to five because I didn't really need to to go for a shower. I had a bath uh, just the night before. Uh, the only thing that meant I couldn't really watch the the golf as I would normally watch it. So I went to my bed about half nine, I think, and watched it on my iPad. And I was kind of like wine. You know, kind of not sleeping, but I just had my eyes shut, and I was actually just kind of listening to the to the commentary, uh, and I think I got to I think the seventeenth hole, I might have fell asleep, because I can remember them playing up to the sixteenth. The uh, seventeenth hole I can't remember, and then I woke up, and I think Brooks Kepka was putting out, basically. I think he I don't know if he'd have put in the last hole for a. For a birdie, um, I'm actually just gonna check his scorecard here, and yeah, he actually had a bogey five at the last hole because I think he was even par, yeah. But yeah, I I I, I was watching it, but I wasn't. I, I saw that he birdied uh, sixteen, which kind of sealed it there and then. I think he was even par going up the last, so he basically had, you know, a shot in it. Um, so, I kind of watched it, and I kind of, I kind of didn't watch it. Um, but did my shift this morning. I actually felt okay this morning. I wasn't really tired as such. Uh, but you know, congratulations to Brooks Kepka on defending his US Open title. What is it, Nick? On. I'm recording a video here. Oh, the cat's absolutely screwball sometimes. But yeah, Tommy Fleetwood. Just a pity he didn't get that 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 sixty two, but you know sixty three, and he he finished one back. Dustin Johnson was plus three. Patrick Reed had a good run, but kind of faltered a little bit towards the end. Although I'm not a great lover of Patrick Reed, so uh, Tony Finau had had a chance. Um, Stenson just you now plus one. He didn't really do much. Same as uh, Justin Rose. But all in all, it was an okay U.S. Open. I don't think it's up there. And you know one of the like the best U.S. Opens, but I kind of enjoyed watching it. It's just a pity I was working the next day. Um, so that was my weekend. I did play, and and I'll go to uh, the golf club just highlighted on the screen. I did play in pixelated golfers. Uh, I'm not online at the moment, so I can't actually go in and show you. Um, I didn't play really too. Well, I said I didn't play great. I, th I thought it was quite a tough course, Trinity Cock Hills. I played it before and shot a decent score. But I played it in picks with the golfers and I kind of struggled a couple of rounds over par. I think I actually finished three over par at the end. Um, I was going to stream it. And then, because of the pressure of the golf, the US Open and Le Mans, I didn't really have a chance to do it because I think I had three rounds to play. I played my first round on Saturday. I think I shot... Six, four under par, which would be a, a 68, I believe. Yeah, a 66, sorry. So the first round was good, but I really struggled after that. I just couldn't really get it going. Um, I'm actually playing pretty decent at my golf. I, I just feel that I'm... I, I don't know, it's not... The way I feel I'm playing is not reflecting in terms of score. Um, so didn't play well in Pixel the Golfers. I wanted to stream it. I wanted to actually get a video up, but I didn't really manage to get anything up, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, 
but that is going to be the last um, tournament of this season. It's the, it's the road to the US Open. So the US Open's finished. We now go into the road to the Open Championship. So I think there's only going to be eight tournaments. I need to get squeeze into two events that are probably going to be just like a one-round affair, like a one-day, one-round, uh, whether it'll be the Monday. Uh, I might even actually make it a Wednesday. I need to drop those in. I might do one. I'm going to... I, I need to go in and obviously schedule it for tomorrow. So this week's Pro-Am will start Tuesday and finish Wednesday. So it's only going to be two days, but it's only two rounds to play, so it's not too bad. Uh, just because they switch over between seasons, uh, you really need that little gap between it. So... Um, but yeah, I need to squeeze in two events just to take up to that that ten uh, major tournament. We could have the the Open Championship will be a major. So that's the next season. Uh, it's going to be quite a, a little short one. Um, so hopefully I can start playing better than it. Um, TGC tours went okay. -ish. I didn't play particularly well again. Um, I'm trying to think my scores in that. Uh, I think. Wait till I just page it up on my phone. Just so that I know. Uh, there we go. I think I finished four under par. Uh, the, the last round was absolutely terrible. Uh, first round, I shot a 73, which was two over par. Not the best, I have to admit. But it came back with a 62. So, you know, that got me back to, I think it was seven under par. Uh, third round was a 69 which was okay not the best but it was still under par so I was 9 under par final round I shot 76 just played kind of scrappy um, as I say again I'm funny enough <laughs> which is quite interesting um, I'm just looking at my stats and the third round I shot 69 I had 24 putts so I must have chipped in quite a lot Round two, I had 28 putts, and that was a 62, so that just shows you, <clears throat> I must have hurt, I don't know, I thought it actually would have been kind of lower than that, but to be honest, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I feel I'm playing okay, I, I just, sometimes the head goes down, uh, and I get a little bit despondent, and I just don't maybe apply myself too much, and I kind of get a little bit, so, you know, I just, I, I don't know, I, I don't, it's not that I'm concentrating, because I, I kind of am, but I, I'm not, at the, at the same point, and I just start playing kind of poor, and I kind of get to that, that stage where I just want to get off the course, which is quite a bad attitude, and I really need to sort of address that, Um, so I really need to look at how, I, how I'm playing, because I think I, I, I have got the ability to play well, and I've got the ability to be in a higher division, um, and it's just quite frustrating that you know I'm still on the CC dash B. Um, I'm really it's just I don't know. I need to really maybe address those those issues and just start playing really well. Because I know I've got the ability. It's just basically putting it down on paper kind of thing. Um, I actually got a comment in one of my my videos. It was another channel update. Uh, a guy. I think he just picked the game up in the last couple of days. Um, he's playing his qualifying for, for TGC Tours, and I think he was four over par, but he's quite frustrated at that. But you really just got to... I mean, it's it's quite a tough game. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot of little things you need to, you know, just tighten your game up. Uh, course management is probably one of the best areas that you can really kind of win big time, uh, and that's just getting your, your yardage control, your wind getting that all kind of locked down and getting it getting it just down to a T. Uh, but, you know, the actual qualifying is not too bad. You'll probably end up in CC dash whatever. It could be C. Um, but don't get too despondent. Um, I think I did reasonably well. I, th I don't know if I ended up in C or B. I can't remember. It might have been C. And I think I got up straight away, which was quite good. But it's a good tournament to play in, TGC Tours. I've 
I've really just been banging my head against the wall sometimes. I, I play well and then have a bad round. I need to cut out that bad round. I need to play consistently because I've got the ability to be in a higher division, but I don't know. It, it, I feel my schedule, maybe I need to start playing it a little bit earlier, like maybe start Wednesday uh, and give me a little bit of time just to kind of, you know, get in the zone, warm up, so to speak, and then play my TGC tours. But, you know, I'm, I'm playing okay, I'm playing better. So that's the golf club to... Um, and kind of like the weekend there. Uh, new games that I've I've actually purchased. I actually bought NHL eighteen, and I want to. I really do want to press on doing the uh, become a pro. I think it's called. Uh, so what I might do is I'll probably do videos on that. Whether I do commentary or whether I just play like a game. If it's a pretty good game, I'll upload it. But I want to start pressing on with that. The trouble when you've got a YouTube channel is that you tend to try and upload every bit of content and sometimes you don't play a game casually, just like, you know, playing it without recording it. So I think what I need to do with NHL 18 is play it and then basically just do updates on it, you know, how I'm playing, where my player is, um, you know, stuff like that, because I think it's quite long-winded to, to get up to, like, getting into the NHL. So I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to do the first video and first game I'll probably do is, is I'll just record it. Uh, and then I'll just do updates whenever. Even if I do like, like just channel talk. Uh, stuff like that. Updates, whatever. Uh, but I'm, I, want to, I, want to, I want to keep that going. Because I, I, I do enjoy playing NHL 18. I picked it up for eight ninety nine, which I, I thought was really quite a good price on it. Okay, the, the new game's probably going to be coming out this in the next couple of months um, but I think it's quite a good game I quite enjoy playing it uh, the other game that I bought was Fallout 4 I actually owned the hard copy version of uh, Fallout 4 which basically is just uh, the disc um, I got it I actually got it not when it when it first came out but I think I got a, a, it's a decent price on it it's the kind of steel, steel book edition that I bought but I haven't played any of the, the DLC for it. So basically the DLC or the season pass was nineteen ninety nine, Which is quite expensive I suppose. But you're getting a lot of content. But the Game of the Year edition, which is the one that I, that I purchased, was nineteen ninety nine, also. Um, but obviously because it's Game of the Year edition... Oh my god, I've got hiccups now. Uh, you get all that content with that game, so I basically just bought it for nineteen ninety nine. Uh, it means I've got a digital version of the uh, Fallout Four. So that's a game that I might play through myself, and I might do I might do videos on it. Might you know just like a kind of casual play th play through type of thing. Uh, maybe just power it up, start playing it, and maybe just talk through, and maybe just talk about you know and IRL stuff uh, in real life uh, so that's a, that's a, that's two games that I kind of bought recent apart from that it's really just the same I also got H1Z1 which is like a kind of battle royale Fortnite PUBG style game um, but that's the two games that I bought so as I said I want to press on with the NHL I really need to do my F1 2017. That's why I've been sort of trying to get back into it again. Uh, because the new game will be coming out in... I don't know if it's August, September. It's coming out in the next couple of months. Uh, and again, that's when I'm, I'm maybe sort of thinking towards my channel about just sticking with a lot more um, like titles. You know, like Project Cars too. I, I need to get content out in that. Um, you know, I've actually got like a career mode that again. I need to start playing through. Uh, but I don't know. A lot of these games, I can do like certain challenges and stuff. Um, you know, like trying to beat a, a time or just setting up races and just having a, you know, a bit of fun. Uh, same with Gran Turismo as well. I usually play that most days I, I, there was one point where I played it every day but 
sometimes I just don't have the time, uh, especially there at the weekend. I don't have much time to put it. So I've got a lot of content I could put out. Also, uh, Mud Runner there again, another game that I can play with the wheel. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got a lot of content uh, and games that that you know that I can make videos on. But it's just it's just getting them in in a schedule. And I, I've been thinking as well about about making a schedule. But to be honest, I don't really think that's going to work. Um, the same with like streaming. You know, I could stream like certain days. Do, uh, you know, have it like Monday. And that's just an example. I could I could live stream like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then maybe stream Saturday or Sunday or both. Um, but I don't want to commit to a schedule because then people maybe. You know, if you, if you don't come on, because I, I can be, so my days are, I can open book. Um, a lot of the time I'll just get up and say, oh, I'll just make a video and I'll just drop it. Just make it, do it, and that's it. Um, but I really need to get back into the way of making videos. I've kind of done a lot of live streams and kind of content where I'm just recording, I'm not doing commentary. I need to get back into the way of, of it. So that's coming up. I say I want to kind of diversify my channel a little bit, but that's been that's twenty one minutes I've been talking, so that's gonna do it for this video. I'm actually just gonna I'm gonna eat some crisps and have some juice, try and get some stuff in. Me, it's maybe not you know junk food, but I'm quite peckish actually, so I'm gonna sign off. Uh, as I say, I will be live streaming. Hopefully, I don't know where I'll be live streaming today. This is Monday. Um, I might, I might not, I don't know. I need to get the golf club, uh, two sorted out my uh, pixelated golfers. So that's something I need to 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 do. I don't know if there's a, a tournament this weekend that's on the course list. So I might just make up the pro am tournament for this week, and then do a full round event. I might just pick a course that I've maybe played in the last couple of, couple of months that I've quite enjoyed. But uh, anyway. Hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you for more videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Catch you later. Bye.